In the following example, we're going to use our calculator and Newton's method to find the root of this function between negative 4 and negative 3. Here we see the graph of the function, and between negative 3 and negative 4, we cross the x-axis. So that's the value we're looking for. And we'll start by estimating that to be about negative 3.5. somewhere in the middle. The first is purely an estimate or a guess, so this is as long as it's close to the values it doesn't really make a difference what you put there. Now we're going to graph the function and use our calculator to get the answer. So it's going to be x squared plus 4x plus 2. So if we graph that, we see we get this shape here, and what we need to do now is find the function value at negative 3.5, the derivative value at negative 3.5, and then use this, which is the iteration process, to get our next estimate, or our next guess as to what the root would be. Each time, the estimate should be getting closer and closer to the actual root. We want four decimal places the same. So first we need the derivative, I guess. So that would be 2x plus 4. And the reason I say I guess is if we were doing this all by hand, you would need this. Since we're going to do it on the calculator, we actually don't even need this. So if we go over to our calculator now, we want to calculate the value of our function at negative 3.5. And the answer is 0 0.25. So 0 0.25. Then we want to calculate the derivative at negative 3.5, and we can use our calculator for that too. Second, so calculate the derivative is number 6 here, 6, at negative 3.5, and the answer is negative 3. So negative 3. Now we go back to our home screen, follow this operation, and that says take this first value, negative 3.5 minus 0.25 divided by negative 3. And that gives us our next estimate. So the value here is negative 3.416667. We'll round to six decimal places. We only need four, so six is a good number to keep. And that tells us that our next estimate that we'll use is that value. So now we'll calculate these two, well actually all three, now using this instead of negative 3.5. So if we go back to our calculator, we're going to do a second function, calculate the value at negative 3.416667. So that gives us that, so that's 0 decimal zero zero six six nine four five to six decimal places and then we want to calculate the derivative so number six at negative negative three point four one Six 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 seven. And that gives us that answer. Negative two point eight three 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 four. And we go back to our home screen again. Second quit. And do this. So negative. 
four one six 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 seven minus point zero zero six nine four five divided by negative two point eight three 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 four gives us that for an answer so there's our next guess and you're gonna keep doing this procedure over and over again until you meet your stopping criteria and what that means is get a repeating in this case four decimal places so here we had two decimal places repeated the four and the one the six and the four are different so we only have two so far we need four in consecutive guesses to be the same. So we'll continue here, do another line, and you'll just do the same procedure. I'm going to fill in the answers just to speed it up a little here. One, four, two, one, five, eight, or one, six if you round to six decimal places. If you calculate the value then, same as we have before, you get six point eight nine four seven and it says e to the negative six and what that means is times ten to the minus six for the derivative you get negative two point eight two eight four three two and when you take this one minus this divided by this you get negative three point four one four two one four so we've found the root to four decimal places four one four two four one four two so the root is negative three point four one four two to four decimal places we actually know the one is also right so we can say the five decimal places but this is what this tells us.